Mr. Speaker, I also want to echo the words of uh, those who have spoken ahead of me and uh, support this particular bill from the onset. Um, and just like uh, my colleague uh, and learned senior Honorable Tienda has spoken, I agree entirely with everything that is here, except for a few. Uh, number one, Honorable Speaker, it's important for us to start defining our bills differently or the bodies that we choose to manage particular sections of uh, or to manage issues of our country differently. This bill is the Kenya Drugs Authority Bill. If there is a way, sometimes we need to think through beyond appearing like we want to authorize everything. That if it can be a service, you know, like the Kenya Drugs Service, something, so that it appears like it's not just an authority, but it's it's a service that also offers other things, not just uh, regulations that, uh, uh, you know, that be. But be that as it may, Honorable Speaker, drugs is a general term. Human beings use drugs, but also animals use drugs. You know, we've got animals. And the science is the same. The scientists go through the same training. It's only that one treats, one is meant for a human being, and another one is meant for an animal. So the separation or the exclusion of the veterinary drugs from this particular bill is not right. My view, even as we go to the next step, that the committee should consider, just like Honorable Tienda said, including the veterinary drugs, these things of exclu and saying that, you know, it's regulated differently. As the bill is currently, I, I hear Honorable Mili say that it's there, it's not there in this particular bill, uh, that it's uh, regulated differently. It should be in included when you go to the next reading. Honorable Speaker, you see, there is a tendency of uh, the wannabes in a particular career, and I say this with tremendous respect, the wannabe in a career pushing to be placed at par with the people, with the, ambi with the people that they are ambitiously focusing to achieve, you know, their goal. Like, you get a clerk in my law firm wants to be called Wakili, or an advocate, and he's a clerk. And that is the justification this bill is also providing. That a pharmaceutical technologist wants to be at par with a pharmacist. You know, that you define them with the same line, within the same line, that a pharmacist and a technologist. I mean, they are also distinct. Even their mode of training is different. One is just basic, and the other one goes extreme in the training. So this justification of trying to put the people, you know, the wannabes of a particular career at par with the people who've gone steps higher in terms of training, should be reviewed. And I think even as the committee looks at that, they should focus, they should find a way to push and, and, and make sure that uh, such roles are, are distinct, clearly distinct. But even as we look at this, Honorable Speaker, it's important for this particular bill also, and even the people who manage these matters drugs, to be keen on also what is happening. We nowadays, or we currently have so many quirks in different professionals. So, so many uh, quirks. You know, what is now on, in public domain is a quirks in the law society of Kenya, or lawyers, I would say there. People pretend to be advocates, and they've never gone to any law school. But it's worse when those quirks also practice the over-the-counter sale of the medicines. You can imagine what will happen if somebody prescribes a wrong medicine on a wrong, you know, prescribes a wrong medicine on you, on your body, and there is no reverse. There is no spare on your body. That even as we look at this, we need to find a way to have most of these quirks in professions. You know, people have sacrificed, gone to school, studied very hard, opened, you know, decided to have um, their businesses in pharmacy, and somebody comes next, 
collects allowances for another person who's gone to school and then decides to wear a dust coat, you know, and calls himself doc or a pharmacist and sells drugs and prescribes drugs. And those are the people you hear when you go to their, their pharmacies. They just tell you, you know, you say I have a stomach ache and they tell you, you look like you have H. pylori. And they give you some kits without proper medical checkups. So even as we look at this whole thing, it's important for us to be keen on that. And those quacks are in the villages. I have seen so many in my constituency. You know, small chemists selling Panadol, selling everything and others even doing abortions quite unfortunate and sometimes th such are discovered when things have gone south so we also need to find a way to regulate and uh, protect societies professional bodies professional societies you know like now this the 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 the, 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 the pharmacies and such so that quality professions are protected human life is also protected and the dignity of a profession is guarded i mean it kills morale for one to go to school for nothing because it's something that can be done by other people and that is what now is happening in the hospitals and honorable speaker even in such uh, even as we talk about the drugs others go to an extent of selling drugs that are expired drugs that have been banned from some countries and nowadays they know the science of human beings. They know that what people want. People want quick service over the counter. And it becomes very easy to get a quack selling you or even that pharmacy, uh, a, a professional or qualified pharmacy selling you over the counter without prescription. If there is a way such can be stopped. You know, generic medicines. They tell you, you know, you've come for Panadol. This one is original. And that's why they say this is generic. So why are you selling generic? Why can't you sell me original? What is, how, how do we relate? If it does the same job, then why can't we have the original, even if the pricing is different? What is, what, what is this? Is it business? Trading business for human body? Those are the things that we also need to discuss, even as we go uh, through this whole uh, uh, process. But generally, Honorable Speaker, the bill is good only for such reviews that we meet the WHO standards. We include you know, the veterinary uh, medicine uh, to be part of this whole thing. We, include, we separate the pharmacists, the real pharmacists from the technicians because I believe, uh, you know, they say when I was growing up, you know, I used to see people in Dascot and I thought all of them were doctors. I didn't know that some of them were butchery attendants and others were selling sausages and others were true doctors and med, you know and uh, pharmacists so once we are able to do that the technologists aside the pharmacist aside then the bill as it is is right and that is why i want to congratulate honorable chair and your committee this is a good job thank you very much honorable speaker honorable donya doris Member for Kisi County. Uh, thank you, Madam Speaker. Uh, I would love to support this because life, we must not at 